Hey guys, today I finally get to use these. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is, uh, the story behind these are they're carbide tool bits for a boring bar. And uh, this is a, f a viewer gift. One of my viewers uh, named, uh, I don't have his real name, but his, uh, his uh, YouTube name is Perfectionist2032, if I recall correctly. And uh, he sent these to me. And uh, I had to modify my big boring bar, which I made a, a while back. To fit these uh, tool bits and they fit real nicely and uh, I've tested it um, on two of the parts we're gonna um, today's project is about uh, I have four rims that need to be uh, modified and I've done two of them so we have two to go so <clears throat> So the story behind these rims are that these are uh, <clears throat> actually my uh, my nephew's uh, alloy wheels. My nephew he just started uh, racing and uh, he's 13, 13 years old and uh, he's racing a uh, Renault Clio in a, a Swedish series and he bought this set of wheels and the problem is that the center hole is too small so these spacers he's using doesn't fit the, the wheels so what I need to do is I need to use my boring bar to take up this uh, to bore this hole from approximately 67 millimeters up to 73 and uh, I'll show you one of the rims that uh, I've already finished <coughs> it looks like this and uh, it turned out really good uh, these boring bits are absolutely awesome working very good in uh, in aluminum I haven't tested them in, in uh, any harder steel but in aluminum they're just great so uh, <clears throat> these are the names the names are I don't know if you can see that but it says uh, TRC8 and they're uh, half inch shank I'll actually I'll just take this out of here to show you. <coughs> this is the one that I haven't uh, used yet. Looks like that. It's a 30 degree tool bit. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's, it's working very good. Leaving a very good finish. And, uh, and I'll just... Uh, Take it a little closer now and we'll set up one of the two rims we have left to do in the four jaw. These are 14 inch by the way and uh, that's that's the biggest thing I can fit in my four jaw by holding it on the outside. If I were to do any, any bigger rims that would, would um, work but I'd have to find another way to, to set it up in the, in the lathe. So I'll just start with putting it real lightly here and we'll put some uh, copper plates to save, save the rims a little bit. These are going to be uh, painted later on so it's not real critical but you know you don't want a lot of uh, dents and, and uh, scratches where the where the jaws have been.
So uh, now we need to indicate it and uh, what I've done here is I have first indicated on the sender and then I've indicated on the OD because I want even if you know there's there's few rims that are perfectly straight and especially when they're uh, old and used rims and uh, so what I what I want to do is I don't want the center to be the only thing that I'm going going for when I when I try to center them uh, I want to know how how it uh, looks on the outside as well where the tire is supposed to go and on the other two it's been looking good when I've when I've uh, indicated on the center it's been good on the outside as well but I don't want to assume that so uh, so we'll do both Just see if I can do something with that. Get it even closer. that's gonna have to do we have about uh, 0.1 of a millimeter in run out on the outside of the rim um, so uh, so that's that's gonna have to do it looks like it's running reasonably true so next thing is to set the boring bar up and we'll uh, get ready to start the lathe up. So we're set up and the speed is at 140 RPM and we have about 6 millimeters of material to take off, 3 per side. Uh, so we're going to start a little slow and I'll take uh, a couple of millimeters and I think the feed is gonna be 0 0.125 so we'll uh, just try it out I'm using some uh, WD-40 for lubricant seem to be working out very good so we'll, uh, we'll just keep on doing that
speed rate a little bit now since it's a lot lighter cut. So uh, I'm up at uh, 125 of a millimeter. And this is a uh, half a millimeter per side pass. Perfect fit. That's very good. Um, only thing we need to do now is because two of these spacers have a plastic uh, ring, which has a uh, what do you call it? Uh, kind of edge here, 45 degree edge. So I'm gonna need to cut a relief here. Um, 45 degrees, about four millimeters long to uh, get that ring in there and also to cut to just be a, a relief for uh, for the other spacers. So to turn this relief, this is what I'm, what I have to do, and I'll cut it on the back side, which means I'll uh, have to let the lathe go in uh, reverse. But it's uh, it's been working pretty good, I think, on the other rims. Uh, only real problem I've had there is that I do get a little bit of shatter when I come up on the full. Uh, four millimeters of uh, of that groove so just just in the in the end of the cutting the relief but uh, it's it's definitely something that I can live with
We'll have to go just a little bit deeper. Okay, so I think we're good to go there. So uh, that's the third rim and uh, now I just got to do the last one. this up I can really recommend these tool bits they work great I'll try and put a, a link in the video description if you if you want to buy those and uh, four wheels done good finish happy with the result so uh, hope to see you in the next video bye